Warning, the following ASMR is only aimed for beings who are in need for comfort and positive energy from a favorite anime character. There won't be any NSFW versions of this ASMR. This is for all ages and is appropriate for all. However, if you feel uncomfortable from videos like this, then click off. To the ones who are staying, go right ahead and get all cozy in your blankies, plop on your headphones, snack on some pockies, pick up your Miku plushie, and enjoy this ASMR. Hey, senpai. Oh, are you okay? You don't look so happy. Do you want to talk? Hold on, let me get myself situated. Could you hold my lunch, please? Thank you. Okay. All right. Um, where was he? Where, where were we again? <laughs> Sorry, I, I, today was very busy for me. <laughs> um, what's wrong, senpai? Are you having a bad day? Oh, I'm sorry. I know our classes. We don't really have a lot of classes together. So I just thought I'd stop by during lunchtime just to see how you're doing and, you know, maybe have a little talk. What? Is this about... Kaito? What did he do to you? Seriously, I never liked him. What did he do to you? No. I knew he was bad. Huh? Your boyfriend. I always knew he was a bad influence to you. I always kept telling you, hey, he's not right for you. And you don't listen to me. Do you have any idea how many times he spot us together? When you leave, he gives me an atomic wedgie. Yeah, I couldn't even walk properly. That's why you keep seeing me limping. That happened while you two were dating. I tried stopping you, but you wouldn't listen because he's too handsome Kaito. I tried warning you. I'm sorry. What? You two broke up? He broke up with you? I wonder what... We... What? <gasps> no. He cheated on you? With Miko? Oh my goodness. Senpai. No, 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 no. Don't start crying, please. Uh, come here. Senpai. I'm so sorry that happened to you. It's okay. It's not your fault. Kaito... I think the one thing you must know about Kaito... He can be really sh shallow and very picky when it comes to girls. If I were him, I'd be really lucky to have you. And I would never cheat on you. <laughs> yeah. Shh, it's okay, senpai. Let them all out. Plus, you don't need him. I keep telling you, me and Nureen and Miku, we kept telling you. 
Oh, don't feel ashamed. Now you understand. We just did it because we care about you. And we wanted to protect you, whoever you date. And we also love you. You're part of us. We want you to be with someone who would love you for who you are and never leave you for someone like Miko or Gomi <laughs> or Luca. I mean, yeah, they're pretty and all, <laughs> but I think you are the most beautiful inside and out. I mean it. Sure, people know me as, oh, pervert Lynn, who really likes girls with big boobs and a big butt and, you know, big everything. But deep down, it's always what's in between those chests. Your heart. Yeah, sorry if that sounded weird, but I don't know, I tried not to make it sound weird. <laughs> Thank you. You know, you're the only person, well, besides Rin and Miku, you guys, you, you don't, you don't treat me like I am that pervert. You treat me like I am someone. And it makes me feel special in a way. You make me feel like I am a human being and not like I'm someone that would desire you in a very simpy way. <laughs> Oh, um, I don't know if you know this, but do you remember the song that I wrote? The one that I lend you, you know, for the soundtrack? Um, one of those songs was actually about you and our relationship. I mean, like, like friends in a way. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I mean, we're not even in a relationship. I mean, like, friends, in a way. <laughs> I was just wondering if you would like to know that, because you really do mean a lot to me. And I want you to feel safe and happy, because I love you, no matter what. I wouldn't care who you date, but I want that guy or girl to treat you like how me and the others treat you. And we want to accept them like how we accepted you. We don't want anyone like Kaito. <laughs> Do you feel a lot better, senpai? A little? Huh? What? Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> I mean, I never knew I could inspire you like that. Usually, Miku or Rin was the most insp inspired people. Insp inspired people. Sorry. Uh, Oh, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a kiss on the cheek. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I think we should get eating because, you know, it's lunchtime. <laughs> oh. You're welcome, senpai. If you ever need to have a talk, or if you ever wanna, if you ever feel down, I'm always open. You can always lay on my shoulder, or, I don't know, hugs, or 
Nice talk. We can even have a sleepover together. I don't mind that. Of course. Just call me when you're ready and we can head over to your house and I can help you with your homework. And that's the plan. <laughs> oh, and for your return... <laughs> hey, I think it's fair. We're best friends. We always must look out for each other. <laughs> I know this seems cliche, but... It's true. Now... Let's, uh, let's have another conversation to cheer you up a little, okay? Alright. So, what did you got for lunch? Oh, lucky! I wanted that too. Oh, okay, we can split. 